us. Okay, goodbye for now. Borough Cafe. And onto the mystical cave we go. Yeehaw! Whoa. Look at the mountains we're going through at this moment. Looks like there's a massive chemical power plant over there. Could it be a concrete making plant? I don't know, but it's huge. It literally sticks almost above the mountains. It's a cement plant. Look at that. So to get to this mystical cave, we've got to go up a pretty beaten up path. I'm going to go to the left and avoid that massive crater in the middle of the road. Oh my goodness. What on earth happened here? Brings me back to the paths when I went up Osmania Peak. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, look at this. Bloody hell. Oh, what? We've even got a lorry coming up. All right, I'm gonna wait for it to go by. Come on, lorry. To be honest, I think it's like this all the way until we get to the mystical cave. And according to Google Maps, it's about 10 minutes from my current location. But um, I'm utilizing the side of the road here. It seems as though it's a decent path to go along. Honestly, at this moment in time, because the road quality is so bad, pretty much just forge your own path through. It doesn't matter what side of the road you're on. Not in conditions like this. There are giant Ford up ahead. Giant Ford. Okay, I think I'm gonna follow his path that he took. We've made it through people. We're actually going around the giant cement plant and we still haven't covered it. Look, it's still up ahead. That's, that's how big this thing is. Oh my God. What on earth is that huge thing? So much dust coming out of this area as well. It's one huge giant shelter filled with composites that would be required to create cement. Let's take a look at it quickly. So there's a fork in the road and we've gone left because apparently this is the way. This is a construction site. Okay, we're one minute away from our final destination. Whoa. This is it. So, I'm going to park up here. And go on in through there. I don't even know if it's open or not. There's no opening times on Google Maps. And right in front of the entrance is this wooden hut with a lady inside and a few dogs to which one of them has just appeared hello how's it going you okay why are you trying to sniff me hello ma'am is the uh mystical cave open yeah okay just go up okay thank you salamat it seems as though there's a small community or family living in this area leading up to the cave. Chickens on the right here. Are these aged concrete slabs, the way they've been positioned, sure makes it feel like an ancient area. This is beautiful. I love the greenery of the moss and which is grown on the steps. I hear the sound of kids' voices from up above. Oh my God. I almost slipped once again. Seems so the path has got this very thin layer of mud over it. Or slippery clay, I should say. Oh, no. oh, slippery rocks. Hello. Hello, bud, you okay? How's it going? You want to sniff me? Thank you. And which way to the cave is it? Oh, up that way. Oh, God. Is anybody in there? Is anyone inside? Have somebody inside or no? Empty. 
Empty. Empty, okay. Oh, so Okay, thank you. Look at this. Oh, I've got a companion that's joining me. Come on, boy. Shall we go and explore the cave together? Let's go. Accompany me, bud. Manilo. Beautiful. Whoa. There's bats. Hey, don't leave me, bud. Come with me. Money, let's go. There's bats in this cave. Oh my goodness. Walking around in a cave like this, I should be given a hard hat. Oh my god, the floor is so slippery. Look at the formations that have been caused here by the water continuously dripping through, through the pores of the rocks. You can actually see water vapor in the air, just flowing around. It's dead silent in here. It's just the echoes of water droplets. Oh my goodness. I really wanna go in that area. This is without the flashlight. This is with the flashlight. I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. I'm slipping. Oh my god. Looks like there's some sort of crystals in the rocks. You see it? Maybe you can't see on camera. I mean, there's many caves around the world in which you can come and explore like this. But what I really love about this particular experience right now is that there's nobody else in the cave. I'm doing it unsupervised. I love it. It's just me and the cave and my curiosity to explore what there is inside. Oh my God, it just keeps going. I need to remember my way back. Those are the sounds of bats. I wonder how many bats there are hiding in this cave. I've got a flashlight pointing down so it doesn't wake them up. But this part of the cave is very, very dark. Very dark. Oh my goodness me. Oh, 
it's so big. I feel like I'm playing a POV game right now. I hear an unusual sound coming from here. How big is a cave? I'm actually really concerned to point the flashlight up to the ceiling in case I spawn a whole fury of bats. I mean, maybe this is where Batman begins, and I... <laughs> I'm also keeping my voice down because I don't want to be very loud in here. It's like a few steps going down. Imagine climbing that. The floor here is actually pretty dry. What is that? We've got this one giant LED light right there in the middle. That's good. I'm gonna try and speed up my walk through this cave. No way does it carry on going. There's so many plastic buckets collecting water. There's engravings on here that people have left behind. Look at that old engraving. Every kid around the world drew that sign there at school. What the hell is that? Is that a giant crater? Boy, I've got to be careful because if I slip down this, I could end up down there. me. <sighs> you can actually go down there by following these steps down. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Gotta be real careful though. It's a dead end though. No bloody way. No bloody way. There's a ladder literally made out of sticks wedged in between the rocks. Oh my god. Do 
I do it? Do I chance? the trickiest. Yeah, the light is, is dropping. Oh my god. Alright. Unfortunately, I've got no time for that. So we're gonna have to get up. Oh, there's still visibility. thought it was something to do with my camera but then I realized the light is awfully dim
There's no end in sight. Oh my god. Or maybe that is the end because I don't see anything else. As my flashlight is dimming, there's half a moment I look. I've got to call this journey, this cave exploration, to an end. And so I'm going to head back outside, the same direction that I came in, and follow these lights. Oh my god. Oh, I can't see anything now. And it's, and it's slippery, and my feet are getting wet, and there's big puddles. So me and there's all sorts of clay on the floor. I thought it would be a separate exit to the entrance, but it's not. Ow, I just hit my head. Ow. I just hit my head on that. Thankfully, it wasn't hard. to see daylight. That, folks, was insane. What an experience. And now, rather than hearing creepy bat sounds and water droplets, I've got a joyful sound of kids playing around at the foot of these steps by the mystical cave. Oh, no more battery. Battery kaput. There you go. So I wanted to go down, you know, oh. have a route down and then like a... What's down? What's inside? Seven floor. Down, down, oh, yeah. I'm down seven. Seven ground. Have seven floor? Oh, seven. So this, this mystical cave goes seven floors down, yeah? 150. I didn't go. I didn't go. I don't have time. And no flashlight because I wanted to. Okay, Salamat, thank you. Be careful. Yeah, have to be very careful. Yes. Look at the state of my shoes and my trousers. I've had quite an adventure today. Imagine the folks that will see me around BGC. They're just going to be like, what on earth happened to this guy? Anyway, folks, I'm going to wrap up today's video here. If you enjoyed today's video of me exploring the mystical cave, in Rizal. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video and share it with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching guys. Take care and bye for now. Woo.